I'm Jerry Dobson, ladies and gentlemen. Craig Forrest will join me in a few moments. First off, the award we're going to do first is a very special award. It's an award that's intended to recognize those who have excelled both in soccer and in another endeavor, perhaps, who might not otherwise qualify for induction into the Soccer Hall of Fame and Museum. The award has been appropriately and affectionately named the Brian Butt Award. The award, as you all know, is named for the late Brian Budd, who embodies this award through his accomplishments in soccer and beyond. Brian became the most internationally recognized Canadian soccer player through his participation in the various superstar competitions in between 1978 and 1980. And those of us who are old enough to remember, remember those competitions very well. I can recall making sure that was appointment television for me to watch Brian Budd do what he did every year in the Superstars competition on ABC. Those competitions were televised all over the world, of course, and brought together world-class international athletes that had won regional competitions just to compete on that show. Brian's playing career includes winning the CIAU gold medal for the UBC Thunderbirds. He played seven seasons in the North American Soccer League with the Vancouver Whitecaps, Colorado Caribou, and the Toronto Metros Croatia. He also played at the international level for Canada seven times, scoring twice in World Cup qualification matches. Brian became a well-known soccer broadcaster, starting as the color commentator for the Toronto Blizzard in 1982, when I covered that team in another lifetime years and years ago, and most recently on the Score Network's The Footy Show, where he participated and used his expert analysis from 2004 to 2009. I would now like to introduce you to Brian's wife, Brenda Budd, and his two children, Riley and Bridget, who will make the presentation along with Hall of Fame Governor Bob Yerushi. If you'd like to come forward, please. And so while they make their way forward, I would like to introduce you to our fifth recipient of the Brian Butt Award. Mark Rosado has been selected for his outstanding achievements, both in soccer and as a highly regarded physiotherapist in Canadian sport. During his playing career, Rosado was a member of the University of British Columbia Thunderbirds, like Brian was, who won the coveted Canadian National Championship in 1974. After his university soccer career was done, he played for the North Shore Pegasus, who competed against such teams as the Vancouver Whitecaps and the Seattle Sounders. Throughout the years, he coached soccer at youth levels as well as college and university teams, and during his four decades in Canadian soccer, he has participated at all national levels. He has acted and led as chief therapist with many of the Canadian medical teams, including the 2008 2010 and 2012 Olympic Games, as well as being a member of the Canadian Soccer Association's Medical Committee. Rosaro's involvement in Canadian sport does not stop with soccer. He's the current integrated sport team lead for Badminton Canada, was the therapist for the 2001 Fencing World Championships, and acts as a national examiner for Sport Physio Canada. Throughout his remarkable career, Rosardo has provided outstanding professional service to the Canadian sporting community, and he exemplifies the characteristics of the Brian Budd Award, character, professionalism, and dedication. He was an excellent soccer player and is well-respected as a sport physiotherapist as well. The Brian Budd Award is special to me. I was fortunate enough to be awarded with that award a few years ago, and it is one of the most cherished things that I have in my home and one of the things that I will always hold dear to me. Ladies and gentlemen, a big welcome to Mark Rizzardo. Thank you for a warm applause. Good evening. I used to wear Britain glasses, don't I? <laughs> Getting old. Good evening, honored fellow inductees, Hall of Fame board of members, Brian's family, Brenda, Riley, and Bridget, and guests. I'm honored and humbled to be the 2014 recipient of the Brian Budd Award. I, lucky enough, know two of the past winners, the late Peter Zessel and Dr. Carl Shearer. 
last year's winner. This award has special meaning to me because not only was Brian a friend of mine, but he was a teammate of mine at the University of British Columbia in 74. I was fortunate enough to play on a stellar team that, e that year that included future Whitecaps Daryl Sampson, Greg Weber, and Brian himself. To those of you that didn't know Brian back then, he was a tall, barrow-chested, strong athlete that played striker. Brian's attention to fitness was evident early on for me as a rookie. He was very extroverted, loud, and a great teammate. This weekend marks the 40th anniversary of that UBC team, and in about two weeks, 14 of us are going to get together and rehash stories that we can still remember. One of those stories was when we watched Brian run up Tolmy Hill at UBC that goes from Jericho Beach straight up the hills like this, and Brian would train for those special championships, and he would do it until he threw up. I've been fortunate to have been involved in the great game of soccer from the time I was five at the iconic club Grandview Legion to the present where I've been coaching at Langara for 25 years. One becomes who they are by being influenced by those near them. I've had great mentors in coaching from Ken Grant at Grandview Legion to Barry Clark and Ian Franks who taught me innovation and attention to detail. To my UBC soccer ex-ranger Joel Johnson who taught me humor is a lot more important than technical knowledge sometimes. The empathetic late Bob Bear Park. To Tony Waiters who's really a player's coach. To Evan Pellerud who taught me the need for team bonding. Soccer has given me great friends like the immortal Harry Newman, one of the funniest people I've ever known in my life. The patriotic Ken Kevin Muldoon. The ever positive and supportive Les Wilson. My best man Chris Speakman and Andre T, my assistant coach at Langara for the last 23 years. I would also like to thank all the athletes that have been made my job as a coach and therapist so enjoyable. People like Bob Arushi, Bruce Wilson, Christine Sinclair and Isabel Morneau make life easy and going to the park very simple. Sport in general has presented me the opportunity to travel and have life experiences Asia, Europe, Africa, and all over North and Central America. I've been to events that you have to pinch yourself to be lucky to be there. Things like the quarterfinal of the 1984 Olympics where we played Brazil and lost to an unfortunate Hector Call. <laughs> Being part of the 2008 women's national team at the Olympics when we lost to the United Americans in overtime. Being the chief therapist in my hometown for the 2010 Olympics. And being at the 2014 World Cup in Brazil this past summer. There's no way I could have done any of these things without support unconditionally for some special people. First, my mom and dad, who always told me to do what I always thought was right for me. Then and now, for my immediate family who are sitting here tonight, my wife Vicki, who's my wife for 33 years, who's been such a strong advocate for women in sport and a fantastic role model for my three kids, Diane, Beth, and Kate. They have taught me how important it is to have a woman in your life and listen to them. All of, them have made me tremendous, all of them have made tremendous sacrifices to allow me to pursue my passion, be it in soccer or rehabilitation. When we first got married, I left months after we were married for six weeks with the under-20 team. I still hear about it now, but I still did it. <laughs> Brian Budd was always, always chased his dreams, and I have been fortunate enough to do the same. Thank you for this awesome recognition. <laughs> 